Greetings my lovelies, hellos, and welcome back. Today I'll be cooking a chicken inside of a watermelon. So I found this recipe in an old New York Times article for April Fool's Day and included this recipe and I knew immediately I had to make it because it just sounded so perfectly strange. And we're coming into the end of summer here so this is the only opportunity I'll really have to acquire a large watermelon to cook a chicken in. So come along with me and I'll show you what I did to get this chicken started. All right, so you're gonna cut about a quarter inch off the bottom of the watermelon so the watermelon lies nice and flat. Then we're gonna cut about a third of the way down and that's going to be the lid. And using a large spoon, we're gonna hollow out a cavity for our chicken. So now we're gonna season the chicken, salt and pepper the inside cavity and place one whole lemon that has been pricked and I cut mine in half. And then we're gonna put one tablespoon of soy sauce inside. Then you're gonna take a half cup of soy sauce and brush that all over the outside of the chicken and sprinkle one teaspoon of five spice powder. Now we're gonna place the chicken inside the watermelon. Replace the lid and then use a few skewers to hold the lid in place. Place this whole thing onto a baking tray and into a preheated 400 degree oven and bake for two hours. After two hours, we're gonna reduce the heat to 300 and cook it for another three hours. After five hours of cooking, this is what you get. <laughs> it's so heavy and huge and gnarly. It looks nothing like a watermelon. I have to say, while this was cooking, my whole house smelled a bit of pumpkin, and as the five spice came out, it smelled like I was baking something sweet. It smelled sweet and spiced. It smelled quite good, actually. Nothing like I expected. It didn't smell like watermelon at all. All right, let's see what's inside this. Oh my gosh, look at that. Whoa. <laughs> Mmm. Lots of juice inside there. That looks like a nicely cooked chicken. So Five Spice is a really popular Chinese spice blend that contains five spices, including star anise and cinnamon. So this smells really lovely. All right, so let's see if we can extract our chicken out. I'm gonna use a spoon here, see if I can extract this without breaking my chicken. Wow, that's a nicely cooked bird. Wow, look how tender that is. <laughs> It is just falling apart tender. Now what I'm supposed to do is reduce this broth down and then add two pats of cold butter and then serve that with a chicken. So let's do that. Watermelon terrine. Here's our little gravy here. I'm dying to taste this. Will it taste at all like watermelon? Let's see. I am a dark meat girl, so I'm gonna go right for the thigh and drumstick. Super tender, look at that. It just falls right off the bone. A little bit of our gravy. <laughs> and give us a taste. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Super, super tender chicken fall off the bone, tender, tender chicken, succulent, and a nice kiss of five spice. I thought this might be overly five spice, but it's not. And it doesn't taste at all of watermelon, not at all. I think if you were to serve this chicken without showing the vessel that it cooked in, people would have no idea that this would ever cooked in a watermelon. I think this would be a really great spectacle to have at a party. You could make a big deal of cutting the watermelon, putting the chicken inside, cooking it up, and then serving it. But it makes it quite a tasty chicken. Let me just taste the gravy by itself. Mmm. That's very interesting. Sweet, slightly tangy, you taste more of the lemon, and again, you get that nice little essence of five spice. Yeah, very interesting flavored chicken and a whole lot of fun to put together. So there you have it, a chicken cooked inside of a watermelon. Let me know in the comments down below if you wanna see more of these kind of cook inside of thing recipes, or if you have any suggestions, I am all ears. And yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. Please share this video with your friends and follow me on social media, subscribe, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye.